Hi guys, it's Michelle. I'm here very quickly to do a wee bit of a wig review, kind of showing of some new hair that I bought for myself and I kind of love quite a big bit. Okay, so for you guys, if you're in the US and you're watching this, you'll be like, that's not a new wig. What are you talking about, Michelle? If you guys are in the UK, you'll know this has literally just come over to the UK. And it is the new collection from Rennie of Paris. It is the high fashion collection and it's a few new styles which have been added to their range. So, I'm going to show you these bad boys because the ones that I'm going to be reviewing, I just absolutely am so in love with. Um, yeah, so first of all, I would like to show you guys Kai. Kai is absolutely phenomenal. It is a blunt razor cut bob. I want to show you the inside of this cap before we begin. So it has your machine wefted sides and back all around here. We have this slight velvet over the elastic at the nape. It does have these kind of pull type adjusters to tighten that in for you. Your velvet ear tabs with metal stays inside. Now the top it's not permities, it's actually covered wefts. So the netting is put over the wefts at the top, but it's not permities, it is just netting, I believe, that covers over those wefts. So you don't have a big bit of volume here where you would have permities, it's, it's nice and smooth, which is good. You do have a lace front on this, ignore this mess. Basically, I decided I would try and be funny and glue my wig to my head, um, because I don't do that kind of thing. I thought the other night, I'm gonna use the got to be gel, and I glued it on my head and, yeah, and it works really well and it wasn't so fun getting it back off. However, um, so yeah, so I've got some residue, but it does have gorgeous lace front and it has this lace parting. So this is all hand tied into the lace, these hairs, which creates the appearance of the hair coming from your own head. So without any further talking, I'm going to pop on Kai and show you what I'm all about. So, for people who may or may not know me, um, in real life, sees, uh, when I actually had bio hair, it was a kind of strawberry blonde shade and I dyed it jet black for years. I tend to not wear black wigs because I'm not so sure I suit them but um, yeah, I'm all about trying all different colours. Now I saw this new shade from Rennie of Paris called Melted Marshmallow in their new collection and I have to say, got me a wee bit excited. Melted Marshmallow. At first I'm like, what, is it pink and white and like what? <laughs> but it's really, really gorgeous. So it starts off with this darker root, then we go to a blondish type tones. I'm going to move in closer and show you guys. I should just zoom in actually, but um, I'll just stand closer. And then it graduates to this super blonde white near the ends here. Now, this shade is stunning. Depending on what length of wig you're going for, will depend, you know, how much of it looks very blonde. For example, the Riley, which is new in the collection, the Melted Marshmallow, I'll try and pop a wee photo of it here. It looks super duper white blonde, but that's because basically from here, Riley continues down and continues with a super white icy type blonde shade. Now, I love this. So let's talk a wee bit about Kai. Okay, so Kai is said to have an average cap size and I would very much agree with this. It's very much a blunt razor straight cut. Now the fibres have not been kind of moulded to be turned under, they are very very straight. If you're somebody who likes to have a bangs or fringe kind of thing cut into your wig, um, because of the way this sits actually you wouldn't have to do too much of the steaming, you could literally pull this bit forward here and have that cut in should you so desire. Um, for me, I am just very much in love with this. I would say it's ever so slightly kind of looks a bit A-line in appearance, like it's slightly longer towards the front than it looks at the back. Now your fringe bangs on this are 11 inches of length, which is poker straight, which is what I love in a bob. I love to have the front of my hair super straight, so good job, Adarin's good job, Ready in Paris. Um, the crown layers from the top are 12 inches and the nape layers are 2.5 inches. I'm going to turn around to show you this wig all the way and let you kind of have a wee look at it and you can see what you think. Okie dokie. So it does have a left sided lace parting. The lace front on this, I am going to show you this just now. If 
few people have said to me they feel that the lace patching on this, there's there's too much hair along the front, it's too dense. See, to be perfectly honest, I don't actually think that's a bad complaint. I quite like to have a fairly full parting, and to me, if there's too much hair, I'll pluck it away. I am not going to be getting hair and tying it in, so I would rather it's too full with hair than not enough. I would rather it was um, too dense and not too sparse. So you can pluck that hairline if you want. I'm not going to. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I love that with this style, you can just literally pop it on and go. You can have it so sleek and smooth and gorgeous as it comes from the box. Or you can just put your fingers through the roots here, slightly, ever so slightly and create just a wee bit of messiness and volume and you have it the way that it's already sitting it's super straight at the front here so for me that's a style that I just adore now it is really really stunning this comes in at an amazing price um, I am selling this on Mimo wig not this particular one this is mine <laughs> nobody can have it um, but you can buy this wig and it does come in a whole host of colours you can buy this at MimoWigs.com I'll pop a wee link up here for you guys and um, I'll pop a discount down below for all you gorgeous YouTube family and you can get some money off of this hair should you be interested in buying it. Um, it is stunning. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would. I think what you're getting for the money is very good. It's very reasonable. I have to say, I used to wear a lot of Retinue of Paris high fashion wigs when I first lost my hair. For me, um, I then decided that I, I would only wear a lace front wig. I don't only wear lace front wigs now, by the way, I'm not stuck with that, I wear whatever I want. Um, with kind of this length and longer, I really decided that I wanted to have at least a monofilament parting or a lace parting and I was not a fan of permities. This wig feels beautiful. The wefts are here on top as well, but the top layer there is just covered over around your kind of crown. Um, it makes it feel very lightweight. It makes it feel not bulky, it doesn't feel heavy because you don't have that permatease. Um, it feels so lightweight, it feels cool, it doesn't tend to slide on me. The cap's conforming nicely to the shape of my head. In all honesty, probably I will be wearing a bamboo wig liner underneath the majority of the time. I went to work the other night, I wore this hair for a 13 hour shift. Half the shift I wore with bamboo wig liner underneath like I always do if I'm wearing wefts in general actually with synthetic hair. The second half of the night I took this off just purely to see how the hair would feel and I actually felt it was comfortable. I'm not a big fan of wefts generally and the feeling against my head because of my own skin issues being such sensitive skin but because this cap's quite, quite, I keep saying round with caps it just, it doesn't sit straight, it's not too big, it's not baggy, it just sits nice and snug into my head, it conforms, there's less slippage which makes it more comfortable. Um, generally, I'm not a fan of feeling the hair, I'm not a fan of open wefts because I don't like the hair fibres against my skin, however, you know, like at the end of the day, that's not a problem and if that's a problem, that's for me, it's not that it's a problem with the wig, it's a problem with me and my, my weird ways, so then I just pop up one of these wee caps. But it's lovely, it's beautiful, this melted marshmallow style, honestly, I think many of Paris, you have really created something amazing with this, it's very beautiful, it does look like you know, maybe you've had your hair dyed, you've gone and got it done again and then you've left it to grow out. It's not ombre balayage but it's very much, it's like three shades kind of graduated from the darker into the light and it's very natural um, tones that are through it and it's just gorgeous, it's stunning. If you're not somebody who tends to go for blonde and you really want to try blonde but you think I don't know if it'll suit it, the good thing is with the rooting here that you've got in the kind of darkness up the top, um, you know, that's a wee bit of a comfort if you're not used to being so blonde. Um, and then you have these tones through here. You've got some light browns, you've got some neutral blondes, some cool blondes, tiny bits of warmth, and it graduates to this extremely cool, pale, whitey, platinum type blonde. And you really have a range of colours um, throughout this. You have a bit of warmth. It, 
it's quite, I, I don't even know how to describe it, I've said describe it as a neutral wig, but actually it's so cool at the ends. Um, this is stunning, it's absolutely gorgeous, there's also Melted Sunset, it's another one of the new shades, the Melted, um, there are other shades too, there are so many, they're gorgeous, you do, I know a few people who just are so in love with the Plumberry Jam, this does come in Plumberry Jam LR as well, so it is a gorgeous wig, no matter what colour you like, I think it's perfect, it's beautiful, it's so practical. I know it'll last me a good amount of time because it's just such a gorgeous length and um, I do feel that the wigs are made very well from Rennie of Paris. Personally speaking, that's my own personal opinion. The cap construction was the thing for me in the past. I wanted at least a lace part or a mono part. So that put me off and for me personally, I'm not a big Permatease fan so that put me off. Whereas now I'm just like, yes. This is the start of so much more to come. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. Um, so it's awesome. So yeah, I'm really, really loving it. I did buy this obviously myself. I've paid for it. It's my own wig. It is not stock. And I just wanted to say something to you guys about that. Um, I have been asked, um, you know, the wigs that you review, are they your own stock? Because obviously you, you do a lot of reviews. No, I don't actually review my own stock because I would not wear something that I'm then going to sell and the reason that I've chosen not to do that is purely because the risk of skin to skin cross infection I don't have any infections that I'm aware of and I'm not saying that um, but if I sell a wig to you um, via my company at Memo Wigs it's a brand new wig which means it's not been worn by anyone before and that's really important to me because I am also a nurse and I understand the risks associated with you know infection transferring from person to person and you know I just want you guys to know that obviously that is a big thing to me so I don't wear if you see me wearing a wig it's my own wig <laughs> um yeah and that's that so guys take care of yourself have a wee look at Kai check it out whether you like a very natural shade or whether you like something more fashionable something super vibrant or highlighted whatever you like there are a whole host of shades to choose from and I do wholeheartedly recommend this and you know for the cost I really think it's hard to pick a fault in it um, and it's well made so I don't know what else to say other than thanks for watching take care of yourself remember that you're all beautiful what to do if you could before you go give me a wee thumbs up Please do subscribe to the channel, um, I do a lot of wig reviews, I do some random chatting sometimes about hair loss, baldness, general Michelle craziness, um, all sorts, anything you want, just ask, I can aim to please. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, hit the wee bell, you can be notified whenever I upload, all of my videos are in playlists, so we have wig reviews, we've got specific brands as well, so pick a playlist you're interested in and you can feel free to listen to me blethering away. So I will see you guys all soon with another wig review and with some more chatting. Um, I'm going now and I'm going to review another one of the new Rennie of Paris wigs because I'm sure everybody is quite keen to maybe see them um, now that they have come to the UK and cause a wee bit of a woo! Um, <laughs> I know everybody's been so excited and it's been such an anticipated launch. So, Trendsco guys, thanks for bringing these over here. Adherence, thank you. Rene Paris, thank you. Um, special extra thanks to Anel and to the gorgeous Lana at Trendco for just being kind of awesome. Because I message them sometimes and they're always so polite and lovely to me. And they are busy ladies with busy jobs. And I send them rubbish and photos and all sorts of junk. <laughs> so guys, thank you. I'll speak to you all soon. Bye!